Hi, this is Mark with the Dirt Locker. The Dirt Locker is a hillside terracing system made in the USA out of 100% recycled HDPE plastic. Today, we are in Niagara County, New York to help with another DIY Dirt Locker installation. After viewing our videos on YouTube, people from across North America and many other parts of the world have called us to determine if the Dirt Locker system will work for their specific hillside. And the answer has almost always been yes. The Dirt Locker system has been successfully installed by hundreds of North American homeowners and has proven effective in every type of climate. As an excellent example, we are excited to install the Dirt Locker system in Niagara County, New York, known for its heavy rain, extreme cold, and diverse soil conditions. So what is unique about this project is the homeowner has experienced a retaining wall failure and he wanted to replace that retaining wall and initially went through a couple of different scenarios in, in talking to different contractors, one to repair it, to see what he could do to fix it. And he found that that process was pretty difficult. He then decided, you know what, he's gonna just take out the retaining wall, put the slope back to its original position or condition and use the dirt lockers instead. And the dirt locker would now be more integrated with the natural environment that he's trying to create here. So we're really excited about this project. And uh, uh, Carl, the homeowner, will give us a lot more detail about what he went through, how he found the dirt locker, and why he believes that, that it's a superior solution in this particular case. Hi, my name is Carl. I'm the homeowner in Niagara County. And this is my project. Uh, we're replacing a failed retaining wall system with dirt lockers. And I'll give you a little history of how it all came to be. Uh, about 11 years ago, we built this house and we had a landscape, hard landscaper, come in and put in a retaining wall. And over the course of the last 11 years, with all the rain coming down, it washed the dirt away that was the basis for the granite boulders and the boulders basically collapsed in on themselves. So I started doing my due diligence online of, you know, how can we do this ourselves? Uh, and I did a lot of research online, uh, different systems out there and came across Dirt Locker and started watching all the videos that were out there and it looked really interesting. I actually called Mark on the phone and did a video conference with him and showed him you know, how it looked and if he thought that the dirt locker would work for us. And he said, yeah, it definitely will. So I, at that point, started taking all the old boulders out, uh, which was a, a challenge. My tractor will only carry 2,500 pounds and some of those boulders were upwards of 5,500 pounds. Uh, I think the largest one I took out was four foot by six foot by a foot and a half thick. Of, of solid granite. The difference between a, a standard retaining wall and the dirt locker system is that the retaining wall is basically as strong as it's going to be on the first day that it's completed. Uh, once you get past that point, it will start to weaken as, as is evident here over time. Whereas the dirt locker system, it's, it's kind of the reverse. It actually gets stronger as time goes on because you're putting plantings in, you know, once you get the dirt locker system in, you put plantings in each of those terracing systems and the, the plants that you put in there will start to root into the dirt, which is what makes it strong. It's a, it's a complete ecosystem of plantings and, and a dirt locker system that hold back the hill. So one of the other issues that we had, again, with putting a retaining wall in here was when we had talked to the, the, to the contractor that was going to come back and redo it. We wanted flat level areas in there where we could plant, you know, a garden in there because my wife and I both have, uh, we, we tend to bees, we've got four hives and we wanted, you know, some natural flowering plants that would sustain the bees. Uh, so we wanted a, you know, a planting row or rows in there so I kind of had that in mind when I was doing my due diligence online, you know, searching the web. And again, the dirt locker was just a perfect system of um, each, it's a terracing system that you put plantings in and, and you can integrate stepping stones in there as well so that you can maintain 
uh, the dirt lockers, you know, from a weeding perspective. But being able to have all those individual plants in there and have them flowering for the bees was just, you know, a perfect scenario for us. To begin this dirt locker installation, we will place the J-hooks at the top of the hill 30 inches apart. It is important that you place the J-hooks correctly as it will set the pattern for the rest of the dirt locker installation. Once the J-hooks were installed, we began assembling the dirt locker network. The dirt locker network snaps together without the use of any tools. Because the dirt locker system is so light and flexible, we were able to assemble it on a flat shaded area on the back of Carl's property. Once assembled, the three of us were able to lift and place approximately 60 dirt lockers in a very short time. Carl's failed retaining wall was extremely heavy, expensive, difficult to transport. It required professional installation and it was vulnerable to gravity and the forces of nature. Each dirt locker weighs less than two pounds, which means they are relatively inexpensive to purchase and transport, easy to install with no permits or specialized labor, and less affected by gravity and the elements. We first placed the top three rows so that Carl's tractor would be able to reach and fill the dirt lockers with soil. Even though the dirt lockers are light and flexible, they are very strong and resilient and will stand up to heavy soil and rock fill. After the first three rows were filled, we began adding more rows. You can easily add more dirt lockers to an existing network on a hillside. The dirt locker system protects the entire surface of the hillside. Instead of fighting nature, it works with it in a predictable, organic way. Once the dirt lockers were installed and filled with soil, we safely inspected the entire installation by easily walking up and down the hillside, making sure each dirt locker was level and correctly shaped. Even after you install the system, it is still adjustable and can be reshaped, sculpted, and re-leveled by adjusting or adding J-hooks and adding or subtracting soil. Speaking of flexibility, we had to reinstall a large part of the system because of the curvature and slope change at the end of Carl's hillside. In the planning phase of this project, I did not think the minor curve would affect the installation process as much as it did. But as you can see, near the end of the hill, the dirt lockers have become distorted and not rounded. The rounded shape is what gives the system its strength. There is a method for installing dirt locker systems on curved hillsides, which is simply separating each row from each other. This allows the dirt locker to conform more easily to a curved hillside that gets wider as it goes down. After we disassembled the connected rows, we easily reinstalled each row separately. The homeowner, Carl, is a perfectionist, so he was happy to be able to level and sculpt each individual dirt locker using the curved installation method. Unlike many construction materials, the dirt locker system is light and flexible. If you make an installation mistake like I did, you can easily modify it, take it apart, or reinstall it. The redo took us a little extra time, about a day, but as you can see, it was well worth it. And most importantly, Carl and Mary were both very happy with the outcome. Carl, would you recommend the dirt locker? In a heartbeat. It's, uh, it's uh, quite resilient. Um, uh, the plastic, you know, once it's in place and it's J-locked in, uh, you, you could basically, you know, jump up and down, you know, I mean, I can jump up and down on this and it doesn't move. I mean, it, it's, it's resilient, it's in place, it's not going anywhere. Uh, and, you know, it really looks nice. I, I've already had probably six neighbors already comment to me that, you know, what are you doing over there? It looks really nice. And, and I showed a few people from work, you know, a video of it and they said, oh, is that cement? I'm like, no, it's plastic. And they said, you're kidding, that's plastic? I'm like, yeah, it's plastic. It's, it's probably as you know, resilient as if it were concrete, but it's you know, probably a hundredth the, the, the weight that uh, concrete would be. So we had actually had a, uh, another contractor give us a price on redoing the retaining wall, you know, getting rid of some of the ones that had cracked or, or splintered apart. And uh, it was basically five times more cost for him to redo the wall than it was to purchase the dirt lockers and do the work ourselves. So we saved a considerable amount of money. The dirt locker terracing system allowed Carl and Mary to affordably replace their failed retaining wall and transform their problem hillside into the garden they both envisioned. With more planting space and safer access to their plants, Carl and Mary 
can now tend to their thriving ecosystem that supports their bee colony and the other pollinators. I'd like to say thank you to Carl and Mary for doing this video with us and thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on this and other Dirt Locker projects.